These two springs are connected one after another in series. The force of a spring is described by Hooke's law, F equals minus Kx. An applied force, F, stretches two springs that are connected in series. Two springs can be replaced by a single spring having an effective spring constant, K effective, that produces the same force and motion of the pair. Here's spring number one with spring constant K1. Spring number two with spring constant K2 and the applied force F. These two springs are replaced with this single spring having spring constant K effective. Each spring in series has the same force F but stretches by differing lengths. Spring number one stretches by the distance x1 equals F over K1 and spring number two stretches by x2 equals F over K2. The total stretch of the two springs is x equals x1 plus x2 equals f over k1 plus f over k2 or we factor out the f times 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2. We define this to be f over an effective spring constant. For a system of n springs in series, the effective spring constant is 1 over k effective equals 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2 plus 1 over k3 and so on. The inverse of the effective spring constant is found by adding the inverses of each of the spring constants. For a system of two springs in series we get k effective equals k1 k2 over k1 plus k2. These two springs are said to be connected in parallel When the two springs are connected in parallel, then each spring stretches by the same length x, but each generates a different restoring force. The total force that must be applied is F total equals an effective spring constant times the stretch x equals the force of spring 1 plus the force of spring 2 equals k1x plus k2x or we factor out the x times k1 plus k2. For n springs in parallel, the effective spring constant is found by adding together all of the spring constants k1 through kn. We will see similar results for the series in parallel combinations of lenses, mirrors, resistors, capacitors, and inductors.